What we want to show is backing up an ESXi cluster with Haiku. Haiku 2.0 released the ability to back up ESXi clusters in addition to uh, HV. So clusters configured, we have two HV clusters, Beast and Brandy, and we also have this infrastructure cluster that is running ESXi in the lab. So we want to, the virtual machine that we're going to back up, we have this next nine. If we take a look at the snapshots, we will see that none are listed. The beauty with this portion is that it's going to use the Nutanix change region tracking and also our API, so you get hardware-based snapshots. So if we go back into Haiku, um, we can find our virtual machine. Go to virtual machine, <clears throat> do a search. The search is quite similar to Nutanix. So if we look at that, we have this virtual machine. It already has a, a policy applied to it for backing it up. Um, if we need to know the backup again, we can use this backup option. We'll quickly look at our infrastructure cluster to take a look at the data protection screen. We notice here that we have this Haiku reserve protection domain. We are using the new APIs, um, but for this release, they had to implement their own protection domain. Haiku will orchestrate adding the virtual machines needed in for backup into there here and then releasing them after the snapshot has been taken. So if we start this process, um, select backup, run the backup job. So now it's going to start the backup process by taking a hardware snapshot. So we can drill into that. And so now it's going to take a snapshot. Once the snapshot is processed, it will create volume groups. The benefit of just having one Haiku controller, we use, or rather Haiku uses ABS for backup. So it'll use the local CVM and help distribute traffic amongst the cluster. So all that load balancing is natively handled by Nutanix. You don't need multiple proxies. Um, so while that's going, we can flip back into our ESXi cluster. And we notice now that the entity count is one. Um, it has put in the next nine virtual machine into that for us. So this is happening all automatic. The end user doesn't have to um, know anything. Nothing's happening on the ESXi side. So if we go back and we just let this run, so the snapshot and volume groups have been created. It's getting the changed regions. There really shouldn't be a lot of data to process because there have been no changes. So it quickly gets backed up um, complete. If we take a look at the hypervisor, there's no hypervisor based snapshot to consolidate. Nothing there. And if we go back into our cluster, we notice that the entity is cleaned up and gone, and away you go. One and done using change region tracking APIs that are hypervisor agnostic for easy deployment in your data center.